everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a beauty counter clean makeup routine for you. I'm all for a natural dewy look with just a hint of color to kind of make your eyes pop or your eyebrows pop, something like that. I never try to hide someone's beauty or the structure or any foundation that's already in their face. I'm using only clean, safe, non-toxic beauty counter products today, so I'm excited to get started. Let's go. Alright, so before we begin, I always wash my face. I'll put them right here and here. I use the Beauty Counter Sleep Recovery Cream every time I put like a heavy amount of foundation or makeup on my face because I just like a dewy look. I don't really like it to look dry or matte. So I always have like extra moisturizer. And then for the cleanser, I just use the Nourishing Cleansing Cream. It's their original face cleaner and I've tried all of them and that is my favorite one. So always start with a clean palette and here we go first product actually this is my foundation routine every single time I wear foundation I use the tint skin foundation and I do a dash of their dew skin which has SPF in it and it adds more of a dewy texture which again I really like I just like a natural look more than I have a ton of makeup on my face look a little dab on my finger about half of a pea size, maybe a pea size, and then the other half of the pea right there, okay? And I also use my fingers. People say not to because, oh, you're gonna get oils on your skin, but I'm like, I like the oils on my skin because it just looks natural and dewy. Okay, now I like to set around my eyes not necessarily my whole face because again, I like the dewy look. So I use their translucent powder. Just with my finger, dab a little bit. It's very easy. I use my fingers a lot. I like to do it in my eyebrows so that my eyebrow makeup doesn't run either. So there's no shimmer to this, which I love because in pictures it comes out uh, very natural looking. <laughs> like sometimes when you take pictures and you have shimmer and your translucent powder, it's like a stark circle under your eye. Now for a touch of color on my face, I use their number one bronzer, their lightest shade. I don't contour, I just kind of add color to my cheekbones like this. So always start at your hairline. Then add color up here, hairline again, kind of like to your mid forehead. And then down here, so it kind of just blends into your neck. Okay, now for these spots on my face. This is a broken blood vessel I got from actually my first delivery of my firstborn son. I ended up pushing for four hours. That was a long story, but um, I have a broken blood vessel that's been there for two years, so that's great. I call it a birthmark now. So I just do a little bit of foundation. They have a concealer stick that I love, but I'm out of it. Of course, that happens when I film, but I actually love their concealer stick. And then I have a little hormone pregnancy spot right here. Just a little dab, dab, dab. And then really all I do is use the translucent powder and I put a little bit over the foundation spots just to like hold it together. And one of my fabulous friends who does makeup for a living told me always use your ring finger or your fourth finger to apply to delicate areas because it's your least heavy finger, if that makes sense. I have a couple more spots. Just happens with pregnancy. This is their cream blusher in caramel, and I just add a little bit to my cheeks. Just for a dash more color, and two in one. You can use it as lipstick as well. With your ring finger again. Blend it in a little bit. Oh, 
Now for my eyes. It's all about the brush. Can you see this? It's pretty flimsy. This is what you want for your first base of an eyeshadow brush. This was a holiday eyeshadow palette collection from Beauty Counter, which I love. And I use their Soft Peach, their Sienna, and their Copper, sometimes their Canyon. Canyon? Canyon? Yes, Canyon. I'm gonna do a dash of their Canyon today. I'm gonna go for like a more summery glow. You never wanna go in like this. You always want to just lightly dust. Otherwise, you're just gonna end up trying to blend the whole time and then you're gonna get stressed out. And then you're gonna think that you can't do eyeshadow, which is false. Everybody can. I can learn, you guys can learn. Okay, so I have a little bit more depth in my eyes. That's why I like light dusting. And then you use your level two brush. That's a little bit more firm. And I'm going to use this. It's not like an in-your-face shimmer that's like, whoa, that's annoying. It's just a pretty touch of color, and I have blue eyes, so it makes my blue eyes kind of pop. So this, your level two, goes on your eyelid. Okay, go back to your first flimsy brush and blend those puppies together. Next is eyeliner. I used to use like their eyeshadow duo in the black and I just, this is how I've always done it. I use a little bit of black eyeshadow with an edged can you see with an edged brush okay and I just lightly dust this on the top of my eyelid right at my eyelash line I always do a little bit of an eyelash curler I have very thin hair so my eyelashes are very thin as well it just gives them a little bit more pop And then, this is Mineral Fusion, and I got this from Whole Foods. I kind of just switch up my mascaras at natural food stores every single time. I'm not like a super, I need a perfect mascara, I just need one that doesn't drip and that can come off with coconut oil. When you have eye makeup on, I suggest rolling your mascara brush instead of going like this, because then you have more of a chance of clumping up on your eye. Ooh, it's raining, lovely. And then a little bit on my bottom lashes. Second round, I always wait at least 30 seconds before I do my second round. Otherwise, it always gets a little clumpy. Okay, and we are almost finished. My last step is the brows. This is my favorite part, like legitimately when I went into labor, my one request is that my eyebrows were done. I didn't care about anything else, I just wanted my eyebrows to be done. It's the first thing that people recognize about you and it really defines your face shape. Not like that was the most important thing in my delivery of my firstborn son, but I've just been a brow girl since like, I guess I learned about it in college. Yeah, way late, I was an athlete. But ever since then, I'm just like so into brows. They're very important and I had no idea. Okay, so I love the Beauty Counter Brow Brush. These flyaways. I actually use the dark shade. My hair is pretty dark. I've used the light shade in past, but I really like the dark because you can always go lighter with your hand. Everyone does their brows differently. I like to start in by filling the top of my eyebrows to give me more of my shape, because that's where your shape comes from. And then I fill in the bottom. If I need a little bit more, I'll use the brow gel, which I love. Normally for like nights out, I do heavy brows because it's very dramatic. Normally day to day, I'll just use this. So let me start by using this and see if I need more.
All right, there we go. Finally, a little bit more of my cream blusher that I'm gonna put on my lips. Da, 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 da. And I am all finished. I grew up an athlete, so this is so funny for me, but I truly love makeup and I love making women feel beautiful. I don't feel toxic. I don't feel like I have makeup kicked on my face. I love that about Beauty Counter. I love that I feel like I'm in my natural, normal skin instead of being covered up and masked. So Beauty Counter it is. I'll link all the products below. Be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. I will upload a new video next week. They're not all makeup tutorials, but a large part of my brand is clean, non-toxic living, and beauty is part of that. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.